good afternoon everyone uh, today our topic of presentation is uh, recursive descent parser our topic will be uh, presented by arpan goswami that is me krishna gochayat and arnab chakraborty okay we will start the presentation by saying some introductory lines about the presentation um, the recursive descent method for context free grammar is undoubtedly undoubtedly the most intuitively clearing uh, clear parsing technique and the most well known as well be included in most university curricula in computer science used since the 1960s the credit is it the credit is attributed to lucas it is also one of the first parsing techniques to be ever used surprisingly its appeal has uh, its appeal has uh, perhaps even grown over time since 1980s there has been a tendency of preferring recursive descent over the theoretically more powerful lr that is the recursive uh, recursive technique left prefer recursive technique although lr parser generator uh, uh, software such as uh, yak developed by johnson was available the generated parsers uh, which basically simulate push down push down automata are not always easy to integrate into a program in a high level uh, programming language okay now we'll learn about the uh, parsing parsing is a compi uh, compiler that is used to break the data into smaller elements coming from lexical analyzing phase a parser takes input in the form of a sequence of tokens and produces output in the form of parse tree parsing is of two types the types of parsing are top down uh, top down parsing and bottom up parsing now top down parsing is again divided into two parts that is recursive uh, descent parsing and ll parsing and bottom up parsing which is again divided into lr parsing and operator precedence parsing okay now we'll uh, go to the next slide uh, the parsing is process to determine whether the star symbol can derive the program or not if the parsing is successful then the program is a valid program otherwise the program is not that valid okay now uh, there are two types of parser in uh, in top down parser the technique we expand the symbol to the whole program and in bottom up parser uh, the technique we use the whole program to start symbol um, the types of recursive uh, top down parser are recursive descent parser and ll parser and the types of bottom up parser are l0 parser slr parser lalr parser and clr parser now uh, let's uh, let's talk about a top down parsing top top down uh, parser in computer science is a parsing strategy Uh, where one looks at the highest level of the parsing tree and works uh, works down the parsing tree wait uh, works down the parsing tree by using rewriting rules of formula formal grammar lr parser are types of parser that uses a push uh, top down parsing strategy now re, uh, let us come to the main topic of the presentation that is the recursive descent parser it is a kind of a top down parser a top down parser builds the parse tree from top to down starting with the uh, starting with the start not terminal a predictive parser is a special uh, special case of uh, recursive descent parser where no backtracking is required uh, by carefully writing a grammar means eliminating um, left cursor ref recursion and left factoring from it the resulting grammar will be a grammar that can be passed by a recursive descent parser now uh, as we know recursive descent parser is a type of top down parser a recursive uh, descent parser can be implemented in two ways that is a backtracking and non backtracking now over to krishna to explain the next slide krishna please present thank you arpan now the examples elimination of left recursion formula is a extends to a alpha slash beta a extends to beta a dash a dash extends to alpha a dash slash a silent before removing left recursion e extends to e plus t slash t t extends to t star f slash f f extends to open bracket e closing bracket slash i d and after removing left recursion e extends to e t e dash e dash extends to plus t e dash slash e and t extends to f p dash and t dash extends to star f p dash slash e and f extends to open bracket e closing bracket slash i d or please go to the next slide for recursive descent parser we are going to write one program for every variable example e extends to i e dash e dash extends to plus i e dash slash e now here e 
is a starting symbol and main function we call the method e here if l equals to equals to i then it will call the match method and here if l equals to equals to t then the method will call the get care method and it also assign it into l otherwise it will print the error error and then it will call the e dash method here if l equals to equals to plus then it will call the match method and e dash method otherwise it will return all the values here if l equals to equals to dollar then it will print the parsing successfully or please go to the next slide now backtracking what is backtracking now top down parser start from the root node and match the input string against the pro production rule to replace them now the example S extends to RXD slash RZD extends to OA slash EA Z extends to AI. For N input string, a top down parcel will behave like this. Arpan, please go to the next slide. It will start with S from the production rules and it will match X to the leftmost letter of the input that is R. The very production of S that is S extends to RXD matches with it. So the top down parser advances to the next input letter that is E. The parser tries to expand the non-terminal X and checks it production from the left and that is X extends to OA and it does not match with the next input symbol. So the top down parser backtracks to obtain the next production rule of X that is X extends to EA. Now the parser matches all the input letters in an order manner. Now the string is accepted. Open, please here to go to the next slide. Now, the predictive parser. What is predictive parser? Predictive parser is a recursive descent parser which has the capability to predict which the production is to be used to replace the input string and the predictive parser does not suffer from the backtracking. To make the parser backtracking free, the productive parser puts some constraints on the grammar and accepts only a class of grammar known as alien grammar. Now the parser will accept the input string stack and parsing table. Now next part will be told by Arnav Chakravarti. Okay. Yes, myself, Arnav. So here I will discuss some get previous year questions. The first question is the grammar A extends to double A slash opening bracket A close bracket closing bracket and slash epsilon is not as suitable for the predictive parsing because the grammar is option A ambiguous, option B left recursive, option C right recursive and option D A and B both. Let's come to the explanation. First, since given grammar can have infinite parser tree for string epsilon, so the grammar is ambiguous and also A extends to double A has left recursion for the predictive parsing. Grammar should be free from the ambiguity. Next, free from the left recursion and free from the left factoring. Given grammar contain both ambiguity and left factoring, so it cannot have predictive parsers. We also expect first grammar free from the ambiguity for the parsing so the option is uh, uh, so the answer is uh, option a ambiguous and option b left recursive so the uh, i mean the right answer is option d a and b both so orphan please change the slide okay. now the second question is which of the following derivation does a top down parses Use while parsing an input string. The input is assumed to be the scan in the left to right order. Now the options are first option is leftmost derivation, and second option is leftmost derivation traced out in reverse, and option, third option is rightmost derivation, and fourth option is rightmost derivation traced out by in reverse. The answer is option A that is leftmost derivation because in top down parsing we just start with the start symbol and compare the right slide of the different production against the first piece of input to see which of the production should be used and a top down parser is called ll parser because it parses the input from left to right and construct construct a leftmost derivation of the sentence so the answer is option a that is leftmost derivation 
uh, open please change the slide yeah. now the third question is which of the following is a top down parcel option a recurs recursive descent parse parser option b operator predecessor parser option c an lrk parser and option d l a l r k parser option a is the correct answer because recursive descent parsing is ll1 parsing which is the top down parsing uh, okay now the questions are over so orphan please change the slide okay now we reach to the last portion of the of our ppt the conclusion of our ppt is that a generalization of the familiar context free recursive descent method has been developed which becomes the first truly practical parsing algorithm for the boolean grammars the notation behind the algorithm and the proof of its correctness are admittedly not very easy however the algorithm itself is intuitively clear and can easily be used in application instead of the standard context free recursive descent this makes it possible to integrate a support for the boolean grammar into the practical pasture generator that currently use context free recursive descent okay uh, over to orpon okay so with that uh, our uh, presentation is almost over but not before the few references from which we have derived our presentation and gained the knowledge for this presentation um, we have used uh, the websites of tutorials, uh, tutorials point, uh, Geeks for Geeks, and Gate with Dale. And uh, of course, our subject teacher, Sumnat Roy Choudhury, sir. And uh, with that, uh, our presentation is over for today. And uh, thank you, and have a good day. Thank you, everyone. Uh, Arpo, Arno, Krishna. Uh, very good presentation. But I wish to speak that you all are omitting the first. Uh, uh, top down parsing techniques everybody is omitting i i don't know that is the uh, brute force technique so you have to mention the first is the brute force technique the brute force technique doesn't require uh, grammar to be modified remember brute force technique is on the best technique but it, uh, but it takes uh, o n cube o n 4 and exponential space next comes the recursive descent recursive descent uh, uh, is always uh, but it requires this your grammar should not be have left recursion so you have to remove the left recursion by left factory. Uh, I wish that you should mention, you have mentioned, Krishna has uh, uh, given an example, but he should have mentioned left factory. That is the removing left recursion, you have, are using the left recursion. So you are using E dash, T dash, this kind of thing. But uh, there, in the recursive descent, uh, sometimes backtrack can be there. So without, uh, then uh, next comes is the LL1 parsing techniques or LLK parsing techniques where there will be no uh, uh, no uh, there will be no uh, what I say no callback so that what is the thing is recursive descent without backtrack sorry it's not callback it is a backtrack uh, so no backtrack but the grammar has to be heavily modified so that uh, no left recursion and you have to calculate the first uh, of the all the variables you have to take follow up the, all the variables if the variable is nullable that I have mentioned in previous, but anyway, it's a very good presentation. Uh, thank you for this.